What's going on guys? Welcome back to Trafish Aquatics. Today we're going to be building an aquarium stand. Now normally when I build aquarium stands, they're usually rack systems like what you see here. Uh, but in today's video we're going to be building a stand for a single tank. And the design of this stand that I'm going to be building is pretty much universal for all aquariums. It'll work with any tank as long as you adjust the size um, and dimensions of the stand to match the tank that you want to build it for. Um, it can pretty much support a ton of weight but I'll show you guys why that is in a little bit. And uh, for right now, I'm just gonna show you what tools and supplies you need so that you guys can build this stand for yourselves as well. So as far as tools and supplies, you're obviously gonna need wood, right? So I'm choosing to use two by fours. These are relatively cheap, inexpensive. Each two by four for me costs about $3. I bought nine of them, um, but we may not need all of them. It all depends on how tall and how big you're building the stand. So I bought nine and if I have extra, I have extra. The next thing that you're going to need as far as supplies are going to be some screws. I usually use uh, number eight or number nine screws, two and a half inches long. So these are the ones I got. I like these because they come with the Torx bit star drive um, and you're not really breaking bits and skipping bits and stripping out screws using these. So this is what I like to use. Next thing that you're going to need, obviously you're going to need some kind of drill or impact screw gun so that you can install the screws you are going to need a tape measure of some kind so that you can get measurements. And then you're also going to need a saw. I'm going to be using a compound miter box, but not everybody has a saw on hand. If you don't have one on hand, you can go ahead and make the measurements. And when you purchase your wood at either Lowe's, Home Depot, or a lumber yard, you can ask them to cut it for you. And most of the time they would be happy to do that for you. So once you have all of your tools and supplies, we can start taking measurements and get building. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to show you where we're going to be putting the tank, show you guys how I got the dimensions that I need, and we're going to go out and cut some wood. So here we go. Alright, so this is my living room, and this is the corner of my living room. As you can see, there really isn't a whole lot going on over here, so I thought this would be a great place to put an aquarium. Uh, my wife has a shelf here, got the couch and the chimney as you can see. This is just for the light for the camera. Um, but it's pretty empty. so. I figure I want to build a stand to put a tank here to liven this corner up a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I went ahead and I measured to see how big of a spot I can have. And unfortunately, it's just short of putting a 55 gallon here. But luckily, I have a 40 breeder. I'm going to set a 40 breeder up here. And the 40 breeder fits in here very well. It'll be about that big. So it fits pretty good. Um, so the next thing I wanted to look at was how tall I wanted to stand so I could see how tall the tank would be and where it would look good from sitting here on the couch. Um, so basically what I did is I measured up to the top of the arm here and added a couple inches which gave me about 30 inches. So at 30 inches the aquarium would be 47 inches tall and that's going to give me a good view of everything going on inside of the aquarium. So that's how we're going to build uh, the stand. So we have our overall height. So now we're going to plan out exactly the size of the tank so that we know exactly how to build the aquarium. So the next thing we need to do is measure the tank itself to get accurate dimensions so we can draw it out, blueprint it, and build the stand. All right, so we're out in my kitchen right now. This is the 40 breeder that we're gonna be setting up. So basically, all we need to do for this is get the overall length and the overall depth of the aquarium itself. Because when you look up online, a 40 breeder is 18 by 36. But if you actually get a measurement off of this tank, it is 36 and a quarter by 18 and a quarter. So it is a little bit larger. So you wanna make sure you take that into account when you're building uh, the stand and make sure you do that on all aquarium sizes because I know they're all a little bit larger because the trim sticks out further than the glass so get your measurement off your tank take the measurement that you have from the height of the stand that you want and then you can draw up the plan so I went ahead and drew one up real quick as you can see it's a very rough drawing right essentially it gives you your overall height and width as well as board lengths so what I'm gonna do is if you can see here I mark down exactly what size and how many boards I need of that size. So we're going to go out, we're going to cut these boards, we're going to bring them back into the fish room, and I'll show you how to build the stand. 
All right, so we've got all of the wood cut. I've saved you guys the visual pain of watching somebody cut wood because it's very, very simple to do, um, and other people will do it for you. So what I've got here is I've got our wood cut out. We have our 15 and a quarter inch pieces, our 30 inch pieces, our 36 and a quarter inch pieces, and our 23 inch pieces like I showed you on our little drawing that we did before. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start assembling it. Uh, most of the build is going to be time lapse and I'm going to stop and talk at certain intervals to explain to you what I'm doing and why. And uh, that way you guys can learn how to build this stand on your own as well. Um, it's very easy, it's a very simple build and it's very strong. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to build the upper and lower shelf. Uh, that's going to be using the 36 and a quarter inch pieces as well as the 15 and a quarter inch pieces. So let's go ahead and start building. Okay, so you'll notice I have the two shelves built now, and the top one is a little bit different than the bottom one. The reason why is the top one's going to be holding the tank, so I put three supports in here, and the center support is only for the reason of making sure that the wood does not flex at all. Uh, moisture and humidity can cause wood to move, so I added this extra board to make it extra secure in the middle so that the dimensions of the wood don't change, making any... Um, pressure that would be put on the tank through the frame of the tank uh, negated as much as possible. Um, the bottom one doesn't have that because that's going to be resting on the floor. So generally these supports, I would add them every two feet depending on the length of your stand. On a bigger stand like this, you can see I have added supports every two feet. Um, and on a stand like this, you can see I have one added in the middle at two feet here as well. Uh, this tank is 36 inches long, so since it's longer than 2 feet, I added one in the middle at 18 inches. That's just the way I do it. So, uh, What we're going to do now is we're going to take the 30 inch pieces and we're going to be building uprights. So how we're going to do that is, if I grab a 30 inch piece here, we are going to put them on the inside, like you can see here, let me turn this on the inside of the frame in the corner and we're going to attach it with screws probably from the back side so that they're not visible on the face um, and then once we attach them all on the bottom we're going to do the same thing with the top the top will essentially slide down onto it you flush the top up with the top here and you put screws in it. from that point what we're going to do is we'll take the 23 inch pieces and there's going to be a gap here 23 inches we put those in place, you have one on the front, you put one on the side on each corner, and those pieces of wood are actually going to be what's supporting the weight of the aquarium on the tank. And the reason that they can support so much weight, a vertical 2x4 can take approximately 1,000 pounds of pressure before failure. So that's 1,000 pounds of pressure down on this, which is going to be on the front and sides and you have eight of them, which means that this stand theoretically can hold 8,000 pounds at the point of failure, which is about as heavy as most full-size pickup trucks. Um, so this could easily hold a car or something like that, um, but we're obviously not using that, we're just using it for aquariums. So that's how that's gonna work. So what I'm gonna do now is we're gonna get these uprights put in place and then we're going to add the uprights around the side and corner. We'll put the top part on and we'll screw everything together. Um, 
and then we'll have our stand built. So it's a very, very easy build, very simple. So let's go ahead and finish it up. All right, so as you can see, the stand is primarily together. All that I have to do now is go back around and add in some additional screws, not a lot. You'll notice in the build, I only put in one screw on each corner, right? And I wanna go back through and add two. One screw is going to allow it to have a pivot point. Even though we've got these additional blocks in here, it shouldn't do that with one screw, but personally, I'm gonna add in a second screw on each corner, top and bottom, to um, add a little bit more rigidity to the stand itself. And after that, the stand is done being built. So I'm gonna go through and do that real quick and uh, finish up the build. All right, so the stand is completely done now. All the screws are in. Um, basically how you see it is as it's gonna sit in my living room, I am probably going to get some oak plywood and frame this in a little bit, mainly just around the front and sides, uh, just to make it look a little prettier because it's gonna be in my living room. Um, but this stand is more than capable of holding a 40 gallon breeder, plus my wife's car. Um, very strong, very sturdy, very cheap. I only used six two by fours instead of the nine that I bought. So in wood, I spent about $18 and then the screws was about seven bucks. So $25 for this stand as you see it right here. Um, so not very expensive and this design will work for tanks well beyond 200 gallons uh, The only thing is once you get up to four foot tanks and things like that You're going to want to add a center brace here in the middle and when you get up to six foot tanks You're going to want to add a brace every two feet uh, for the extra load so very good design and very sturdy so as always thank you guys for watching Trafish Aquatics Links as always in the description down below, and I will see you guys in the next video.